lately I've been eating these Mainichi no shokutaku Ah, so ne, shokutaku butter roll Which means everyday dining table butter rolls Today I wanted to talk about garbage in Japan. Um, you wouldn't think it'd be hard. It's hard. I actually received a manual on how to dispose and separate and deal with garbage here in the dorm. There are four categories here. Combustibles, non-combustibles, Recyclables and oversized garbage or bulk, essentially. And then it gives like examples. Thank God it does, because I really don't know the difference. Because in America, you just put it all in one garbage can. But in Japan, you don't. So there's moyaseru gomi, which is like, which is combustibles. So you've got paper, paper waste, food scraps, wood chips, tobacco. Cigarettes, etc. Then you've got non combustibles um, or moyasenai gomi, which would be vinyl, glass, leather, rubber, ceramics, stuff like that. Then you have shigen gomi, which is recyclables. So cardboard, cans, bottles, pet bottles, I don't know why they include that. And finally, oversized garbage or sodaigo mi. So, consumer electronics, furniture, bedding, bicycles, etc., etc. And actually, I believe for some of those oversized items, you will have to pay a fee for it to be recycled, which I think is kind of interesting. By interesting, I mean stupid, but oh well. And actually, um, there were more rules to explain when I arrived here. Um, there are symbols actually on various um, substances. For example, this should have... Ah. So here on my Mainichi no Shoktak bread, um, you see this Pura, Pura symbol. This is short for Purastik or Plastic. There is a specified garbage can for just pura, plastic, gomi, um, garbage. And there is also a specified can for paper garbage identified by the kami symbol. Um, I'm wondering if it's on this milk carton actually. I'll show you the one on this carton right here. So this is kami. And then this is puck. So when you throw it away, actually, there's a whole nother garbage can for this um, because you have this little, you have to flatten it, essentially. You have to rip it all up and flatten it and then throw it in the kami puck um, garbage disposal bin. And then, of course, there are the garbage cans around town and on campus. Oh, wait, there are none. One of the first most interesting things that I noticed about Shimane, maybe this is all about Japan, but in my city of Matsue, in Shimane Prefecture, there are no garbage cans anywhere, no public garbage cans. And I think this has to do with Japan's um, necessity to separate garbage and be super like environmental and stuff like that. Um, so you will see you know, kanen gomi and um, funen gomi, which means burnable, non-burnable, or combustible, non-combustible garbage. You'll see moeru gomi, moenai gomi. You'll see those, but those are strictly for um, residents. So you'll see them at a in front of an apartment or a home, and they're usually big, and you just throw bags of combustible or non-combustible garbage in there, and those are taken out. I also have to separate in my dorm, I have to separate food, 
combustible foods, banana peels, orange peels, stuff like that. Um, I have to clean out the garbage, you have to clean out any like bottles or whatever. And actually, I have to take out my garbage right now because it's like overflowing and it just needs to be taken out. But yeah, um, garbage in Japan is kind of a pain in the butt. A real pain in the butt. And you'll realize that as soon as you move here um, the first time. But I'm sure, you know, I'll get used to it and it won't be so much of a annoyance later on in life. So, that's today's lesson.